Question 16. What is Payflow Link? Answer. Payflow Link option often called as hosted payment gateway that keeps customer on your site by providing fast and easy way to add transaction processing to your site. Question 17. What is the use of my cart link panel? Answer. My cart link panel specifies whether the number of quantities in the cart should be shown or whether the number of different products should be shown using the display cart summary field. Question 18. What is Google Checkout in Magento? Answer. Google Checkout is an online payment processing service provided by Google. Magento allows integration of online stores with Google Checkout. It is like PayPal that simplifies the process of paying for online purchases. Question 19. What is Magento Manage Order? Answer. Order management is important thing which allows business to run smoothly and keeps customers happy, making them more likely to visit your site in the future. Question 20. What is Magento Google Analytics? Answer. Google Analytics is a finest Google service for those who are actively managing websites and adds analytics to Magento store including e-commerce tracking and conversions of their websites. Question 21. What is the use of page layout in Magento? Answer. Layout files are useful in rendering front pages of Magento. Question 22. What is Magento Content Management System CMS? Answer. Magento CMS Content Management System section is used to manage all website pages. It is a way of promoting the products by providing valuable information to the customers and increases visibility to search engines. Question 23. What are static blocks? Answer. Static block is a piece of content can be used anywhere in the pages. Magento allows creating blocks of content that can be used through the store and can be added to any page or another block. Question 24. What are polls? Answer. Polls are used to get customers' opinions and preferences. The polled results appear immediately after response is submitted. Question 25. How to optimize the Magento environment? Answer. Following points describe how to optimize the Magento environment. It uses complex database so that it needs to be run on dedicated servers. Magento application could be optimized by using cloud computing. Merge you JavaScript and CSS files which reduces the load time dramatically since it's loading only one merged file. Proper MySQL configuration is one of the most important aspects in terms of performance. Performance. Always upgrade to the latest Magento version allows to perform better. Question 26. How to optimize Magento configuration? Answer. The following points specify how to optimize the Magento configuration. To speed up Magento performance, don't run MySQL and web server on the same machine. Do not host files on your web server that you do not use. Optimization of session storage. Enabling Magento flat catalog. Magento uses a complex and resource-intensive entity attribute value or EAV based catalog. After initial catalog established Enabling the flat catalog can dramatically improve database querying time, identification and disabling of unused Magento modules. Question 27. What is the process of code optimization? Answer. The processes of code optimization are removal of unused or unnecessary code processes. To optimize Magento performance, JavaScript and CSS files need to be compressed and aggregated. Conformance of all site images to optimal web image sizes. Identification of bottlenecks. Process that causes the entire process to slow down or stop processes in both front-end and back-end. Question 28. How to improve the performance of database? Answer. The following points describe how to improve the performance of database. Unused data must be cleaned up regularly for better performance. Optimization of database queries. Configuration of setting and limits of the database server. For example memory setting. Query cache. Sort buffer optimization. Question 29. Which is the PHP version used for Magento? Answer. PHP 5.4 plus. Question 30. What is WSLD? Answer. It stands for Web Services Description Language. It is used for describing web services and how to access them. 